Opening it in a long way, Smith over the top. Wow, well, well. Up goes Bright, Person with a good shot. Played in early by Keown. Will Wright get there first? It's a goal for Arsenal. Ian Wright. Well, I think it'd be unfair to say he hasn't had a kick yet, but he's certainly not played a major part in the, in the game so far. But he has now. Pista. Woods. Ashaf. Hasselman. Mustn't let Milmot in. Terrific save by Seaman. Well, that's the first real serious piece of work David Siemens had to do. Who will it be? Well, we'll have to wait for that Liège wall to retreat full 10 yards. I think it's going doing. to be Merson, because it depends which side he takes. Yeah, he's going the other side. It'll be Merson, I think. Probably go wrong. It's Merson. And it's a goal! Flicking the ball nicely inside. McGoldrick's gone down. Davis with a shot. It's against the post. Arsenal really imposing themselves now. Every ball moment with ITV at the moment. With the Rotterdam game last yeah. week as well. And now Arsenal attacking again. Merson and Wright up there. The yellow shirts are getting back. And Wright got there first. It's with Ian Wright. It's a wonderful goal by Ian Wright. a super goal uh, excellent performance good team performance I think uh, there's not many boys that were out there tonight they had a poor game I thought they all contributed uh, I thought the first half we we imposed ourselves on them uh, the Continentals have got a lot of skill a lot of very good technical players if you give them time and space uh, they can punish you so we went in after them and uh, I thought we were a bit unfortunate just to be one up at half time but second half we totally dominated the game and probably a bit disappointed with the result really because we should have won more <laughs> disappointed <laughs> what with the scoreline not the result you won <laughs> yeah we won but we had enough chances actually to win about at least five or six but before the game if you said we're going to win three nothing with that type of performance I'd have been absolutely delighted Big contrast then, uh, Lee, between the two Scottish managers. Uh, George Graham chatting there to Gary Newborn. Very relaxed, very happy with his performance. And, uh, and Arsenal really getting on the road or getting the ball in that just before half-time after dominating the game. Yes, it's nice to see Arsenal rediscover their gold touch back at Highbury. And here we have a cross coming in from Keown. The, the Belgians are very naive. They push up and leave right in there, who finishes like, like the good striker he is. And, and I think that was five games by the goal for him, but he's back on the, the trail again. Here we have a wonderful bit of skill from Paul Merson, and it's nice to see an English player doing what the Continentals are supposed to be uh, unique at doing, and he deserves credit for that. And Merson again here for Wright. Yes, wonderful ball, but great running from, from Ian Wright, loses his marker and finishes so coolly. I mean, what, what a great striker he is. Great striker, Ian Wright. Terrible shame he couldn't, uh, couldn't do, that, do that a week ago. It's inevitable, isn't it, that the tension uh, tends to focus on, on Ian Wright. There's another side to, to his game. It's built on aggression, and sometimes he goes over the top, and sadly he picked up a yellow card tonight that could be absolutely crucial in Europe. Yes, I mean, Ian himself admits this is a side of his game that he needs to work at. Um, There's he a tackle on Hellers there. He goes in, gets the decision given against him. And I think it's his reaction. Yes, I don't think he's got but for the, uh, for the tackle. It's actually his reaction after that, and uh, I think he himself would admit that that's the side of his game he has to work at. Absolutely. But looking good for Arsenal with the quarter-finals in mind. They can't be too complacent, but I think they'll be very confident going over to Belgium. I'm sure they will be.